Hey there, thanks for popping by. This is Michael Carter here from moneymike.com and right now I'm gonna to talk to you guys about how to become the authority in your chosen field. Now when you decide to get into niche marketing, you might wonder what the best way to become an expert in the field you've chosen. Now if you don't already know a lot about the subject, you're probably gonna to have to do quite a bit of research on the subject in order to make it to the top of the authority in the niche. Now the truth is that you're gonna to need to work really smarter and not harder in order to reach the top of the food chain. So here are four of the best ways to become an authority in your chosen field. So number one uh, is write, writing a book. Okay, Nothing says authority figure like having an actual book published. Okay, It's an instant way to boost your credibility within a chosen field. Now you do need to be certain that the book is very well researched and very well written okay because it's going to be scrutinized by the competition now though you know you can get away with writing an ebook yourself on the topic of your choice and you know you can make it available to actually purchase online it's really going to look far more professional and impressive if you guys go and actually have a, a Kindle ebook or an actual book in print in physical print uh, that's a great way to uh, to become an authority now if you don't think you're capable of writing a book um, on your given subject, you guys can go out and hire someone to write it for you. Uh, now there's ghostwriters available that will uh, write your book for a fee on sites like Upwork.com. And when you guys have a book ghostwritten, all the credit goes to you as the author. So it's a really great way. So number two is uh, hosting webinars. Okay, teaching um, other people is an easy way to earn a reputation as an authority figure. You can easily get yourself up on the webinar circuit within any niche you pick. You simply need to get yourself set up with Google Hangouts or go to webinar in order to start holding the webinars. You can advertise your webinars within your blog posts and on social media. Now as long as you're holding a webinar on a topic that people are actually interested in, you really should have no trouble getting people to attend it. Now when you set up your webinars, as well as teaching your audience about the topic of their choice, um, you can include guests or present product offers to your audience um, you know, in order to monetize your webinars. You want to take advantage of it. Okay, so always remember to deliver on the promised information okay, and listen to the audience's feedback so you can become better and better with each webinar that you do. Okay, so the third thing is blogging. Okay, this is great. You don't simply gain authority status when you start blogging about a topic. Okay, you're gonna have to put in some time and effort to actually get recognized for your contributions in any niche. Now the trick is to you know work harder than your competition and not give up as soon as things um, you know, start moving along. You, you got to stick with it. Take your time crafting your posts. Okay, you want to make sure you're presenting the most relevant and up-to-date information to your audience. Now, you should, however, you know, be sure to write posts that are long enough to deliver enough quality information to attract search engine attention. Now, you can also use your blog as the platform for your webinar offerings as well. Okay, so number four, this is a great one, networking. Okay, you need to spend a lot of time networking with like-minded individuals. This stuff's really, really important. Now, whether it's online or offline, you gotta start building a network of contacts in a social manner, okay, in order to learn and grow within your niche. Now, you might choose to rub elbows with your competition even. Um, you could actually band together with folks who are actually in related niches, okay? now. Do not, I repeat, do not pass up on any opportunities to meet uh, new acquaintances, okay, when it comes to your niche. It's really important that you, you band together. Now, the future is uncertain. It's always better to have a network of people, okay, whom you can share information freely and generously, okay. Not only does networking benefit you as an authority figure, it really benefits your audience because they learn more as you learn more. Okay, now when you're first getting started within a niche, this can be pretty overwhelming. Okay, just remember that you're working on becoming the go-to authority in your niche and focus on learning. Okay, the more you learn and share with your audience, the better off they are 
and the more trust they will have with you. Okay, when the time comes to put offers in front of your audience, they're gonna buy your products because you've shown them, okay, that you are the authority in that niche. So that's about it. I'm Michael Carter. This was how to become the authority in your chosen field. Thanks for taking the time to watch this and go be great today. And we'll see you guys real soon.